Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a comparison between the Vitamix Culinary Institute of America Professional Series and this one is the same as the 5200 model which uh, is sold uh, in different vendors and the Blendtec Total Blender and this one comes with the wild side jar so this, this is the uh, supposedly the newer jar and uh, the bigger jar so today we're going to compare making smoothies and for the smoothies we're going to use the same recipe that I've used to compare the Vitamix uh, 5200 to the 6300 check out my other video if you're interested alright so today we're going to have the following we're going to have baby kale we're going to have spinach or baby spinach we're going to have some cilantro two oranges uh, apples bananas and a celery stick and uh, we're going to blend them up and we're going to do a comparison. We're going to taste them. And most importantly, we're going to see how I uh, feel uh, the difference uh, when I uh, drink it. Drink them. All right, so let's get to it. Now, as far as the two blenders, this one is an uh, electronic uh, controlled blender. And this one is just purely manual. And uh, the, um, the big difference that I've noticed about the Blend tech is that it's very light. I mean, I if I would have to estimate, it's it's probably a few pounds lighter than the Vitamix. Also, the uh, the Blend tech has um, six settings here: one for ice cream, crushing ice, milkshakes, soups, sauces, old juice, and smoothie. Today we're going to use a smoothie. Now the nice thing about the Blend tech is that when you press the smoothie or any other automated settings you're gonna see the countdown right here this will this by the way is the number of time that uh, that you've used it and I've noticed I've noticed a big minus about this you know how they tell you at the end you can just put water some soap and run the cycle and uh, to clean it so basically every time you do that so every time you use the, the device you basically take two cycles out of this counter so really I only use it uh, four times or three times. So this is brand new and we're going to see how this goes. Uh, I don't want to make this a full review for this device so let's get to it. Let's do the blending. Let's do the uh, comparison and uh, subscribe to uh, to get one of my full reviews on this once I have good experience with the device. Well, okay. So uh, let's add the ingredients. We'll add one cup of water to each one of the blenders. We'll add the cilantro. We'll add the spinach. And by the way, I measured all these and these are accurate to about a few grams from each other. All right, so we have the spinach and we'll move to the kale, baby kale. And now we're gonna add uh, some uh, celery sticks. Apples, which we pre-measured for weight. An orange. And a banana. And at this point, we're going to add six cubes to each. So, six. We're all set. Let the blending begin. You're all plugged. And will it close? The question should, it, should be not will it blend, but <laughs> the question should be will it close? Will the lid fit? Okay. All right, so uh, are you ready? ready? My, my assistant is ready. <laughs> One, two, three.
All right, so that was one cycle. I gotta tell you, this is crazy, crazy loud. Um, these are definitely not ready. They're not ready. So we're gonna run this for another set of smoothie. Uh, however you wanna do this. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So it's done and I'm deaf. I can't hear a thing. Seriously, my ears are ringing. I think this one is way louder. Alright, so uh, let the testing begin. Let the testing commence. So this is the blend tech. I'll just do a little. This is this is smooth. This looks good smooth. This is the Vitamix. Uh, I gotta tell you, this one uh, has a better, uh, as far as um, drip control, this this one is better. The Vitamix is better. Alright, uh, so I got the Vitamix one right now, and uh, let me taste it. Let me let me do a close up here, because um, you got to see the difference here. All right, so this one is the Blunt Tech, and this one is the Vitamix. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can see more of the brown, bigger bits on the Vitamix. So I noticed. The taste actually is quite different. The the, Vita, the blend tech actually tasted better. I'm not sure why. I know we talked about how there's differences and blah blah blah, but it tastes way better. So I'm not sure. You want you want you want to taste it? Sure. Which one is less fibrous? I still think I still think they could go for another. So let's do it. But which one right now? the same yeah mm. I, think, I think the Vitamix may be a tad more fibrous but let's try it for another um... all right so at this point we decided hey this is not enough we're gonna run it for um, for another cycle for the smoothie so one two three <laughs> So let's uh, let's uh, pour it and see. Okay. Blunt tech. La Vitamix. So this is the Vitamix, right? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, so 
All right, so let me uh, go ahead and uh, taste the Vitamix. This is the blunt egg. What happened with the blunt tech? I, I don't think an apple fully blended it, because now it just got chunks and you can see it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of bits and pieces on the blunt tech. I'm going to have to declare a winner here. not even far away. I mean, it's pretty, pretty obvious. At this point, after running two smoothie cycles on the Blendtec, nothing should have stayed chunky, and it's, there, there's big pieces now. Weird. Uh, I'm going to have to declare the Vitamix the winner here. By a long shot. Long shot? Big shot. Huge shot. Crazy shot. <laughs> yeah. Vitamix! I declare you the winner! Yeah, so let's taste it now. Uh, this, this is like after the cut tasting. Still pieces inside. It's horrible. How's it even possible? We just blended a high for another. It's still yummy, but you know what? If, if you want something that's not going to process it all the way, get a KitchenAid, you know. And the KitchenAid actually did a better job. Alright, alright, so, um, I, you know what? This is the same thing that I found out before with the um, Vitamix 6300. The manual controls are just better. And if you're only doing smoothies, the manual controls are just the best. Because you can monitor it and see when it's ready and just stop it there. Alright, so uh, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, thumb up. Put in your comments. If you have any questions, any other comparisons you want, please just write whatever you want in the bottom. Um, also, uh, I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time. Bye. Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a comparison between the Vitamix Culinary Institute of America Professional Series and this one is the same as the 5200 model which uh, is sold uh, in different vendors and the Blendtec Total Blender and this one comes with the wild side jar so this, this is the uh, supposedly the newer jar and uh, the bigger jar so today we're going to compare making smoothies and for the smoothies we're going to use the same recipe that I've used to compare the Vitamix uh, 52